welcome back to my channel. Today, we are going to discuss VIP questions, chapter 3, Momentum and Impulse. Questions number 1, and 7 gram bullet moving at 100 meter per second stripes a wooden block. Okay, so this is the bullet, and it's moving with 100 meter per second stripes the wooden block, and the wooden block initially U equals to 0. A bullet undergoes uniform deceleration and stop. Okay, stop meaning that at the end, V is equal to 0, and it's 15 cm inside the block. Calculate the average force experienced by the block. Okay, so we must uh, take out what is the information we have first. So for the bullet, the information that we have is we have U equals to 100. And finally, when it hits the block, V is equal to 0. Okay, and it's inside the block 0 0.15 meter. Okay, so we can find what is the time taken. Okay, so we can use S equals to half U plus VT. S is one, 0 0.15 u is equal to 100, v is equal to 0 times t. Okay, so finally, the time taken is equal to 0 0.003 second. Okay, so later we can find f, the force exerted by the bullet. Okay, because we know that force is equal to ma and it's also equal to mv minus u over t. Okay, so we can substitute for the bullet is equal to 0 0.007 and V is equal to 0, U is 100, over T is 0 0.003 second. So finally, the force experienced by the bullet is equal to negative 233.3 Newton. Okay, so this is the force experienced by the bullet. Okay, but the question asks us to find the force experienced by the block. Okay, so F experienced by the block is actually equal to positive 233.3 Newton. Okay, so the answer is D. Okay, next one is question number two. A 7 kg trolley moving with the velocity 5 meter per second. Okay, so this is the trolley one where it is moving with U 5 meter per second and hits the stationary U equals to zero. So this is 1.2 kg and this is 7 kg. Okay, after the collision, the trolley stick together okay so meaning that trolley one and also trolley two will move together with same velocity calculate the loss okay so the loss meaning that we want to find the changes so we must take k final minus k initial okay so what should we do is we need to use because this is um collision so we can use conservation of momentum m1 u1 plus m2 u2 equals to m1 plus m2 v Okay, where N1 is 7 kg, U is 5 plus 0 because it's stationary. After the collision, 7 kg plus 1.2 kg stick together, move with the same velocity. Okay, so 35 equals to 8.2 V, therefore the V we will get 4.268 meter per second. So we want to find the changes of the or the loss of the kinetic energy so we must find k initial first where k initial is equal to half m1 u1 square plus half m2 u2 square so initially half m1 is 7 kg move with 5 meter per second and for m2 because u is equal to 0 so there's no kinetic energy okay so k initial we will get 87.5 joule Okay, how about K final? Okay, K final because they stick together, move with the same velocity. So it's half M1 plus M2 V square, where M1 is 7 kg, M2 is 1.2, moving with the velocity 4.268 square. Okay, so K final, we will get 74.68 meter uh, joule. Okay, so we want to find what is the loss of the kinetic energy. We will take K final minus K initial. So it's uh, 74.68 minus 87.5 Joule. So we will get answer is negative 12.75 Joule. Okay, so negative here shows that it is loss of the energy kinetic energy. Okay, so the answer is B. Okay, next one we'll continue with questions number three. Uh, 80 gram bubble is, is released. Huh? So when the question says release, meaning that U is equal to zero from the height, okay, S 1.3 meter above the floor, okay, calculate its momentum just before it's hitting the floor. Okay, so we want to find the final momentum huh, after it released. Okay, so what are the information we have here? We have um, M equals to 0 0.08 kg, U is equal to zero, S is equal to negative uh, 1.3 because the object is uh, released, huh, released from uh, 
at the height of 1.3 yeah? so its release is going downward okay so this is the marble and its release going downward okay so the s is equals to negative 1.3 and we also have g equals to 9.81 so we want to find the momentum p final equals to m and v yeah? so we need to substitute v is the final velocity m is 0 0.08 but we don't have the final velocity we can use uh, u we have because we have u x and g so we can use some um, v square equals to u square minus 2gs to find the final velocity so v square we don't know u is 0 minus 2g is 9.81 and s is negative 1.3 because it is below the reference point okay so finally v that we will get is equal to plus minus 5.05 .05 meter per second substitute here um 5.05 so the answer is 0 0.4 kg meter per second okay the answer is a okay next we go to the next question the question is number four a body p moving with the the mass of m moving with the velocity u okay so this is p and the mass is moving with velocity u collect and stick to a stationary q so q initially is equal to zero and the mass of the q is equal to 3.5 m okay so after the collision p and also q will stick together move with the same velocity v okay so this is m this is 3.5 m okay now we want to find the total kinetic energy after the collision okay so we want to find the total kinetic energy after the collision before that we must find what is the value for the final velocity first huh? because we know that k final is equal to half m1 plus m2 v squared okay so we can use conservation of momentum where m1 u1 plus m2 u2 equals to m1 plus m2 because after the collision they stick together so m u plus zero because u is zero so m1 is equal to m m2 is 3.5 m v okay so m u equals to 4.5 m v m and m we cancel so finally, the final velocity is equal to u over 4.5. So we substitute into the equation. The final total kinetic energy is half. M1 is m, m2 is 3.5 m. V is equal to u over 4.5 squared. Okay, so we will have uh, 1 over 2, 4.5 m, u squared over 4.5 squared. Okay, so 4.5, 4.5 we can cancel. So finally, the answer is equal to mu squared 2 times 4.5, so you will get 9. Okay, so the answer is equal to 1 over 9 mu squared. The answer is C. Question number 5. Okay, figure shows a 0 0.4 kg wooden disc. Okay, so this is the wooden disc, 0 0.4, launched into the air with the initial velocity 30 meter per second at the angle of 30 degree okay so we know that uh, the initial velocity is 30 meter per second at the angle of 30 degree okay so a bullet of the mass 0 0.02 kg traveling at 250 meter per second vertically upward okay so the bullet initially is moving upward with the initial velocity 250 meter per second Okay, and this initially is launched at u equals to 30 meter per second at 30 degree. Okay, so this is the disc, this is the bullet. Okay, and after that, when it moves vertically upward, it collides with the disc uh, when the disc was at the highest point. Okay, so, well, for this disc, when it has higher, highest point, v is equal to zero, uh, vy is equal to zero for this disc. Okay, due to the collision, the bullet remains embedded inside. Okay, so after that, when the hits when the bullet hits the disc it will move together with the disc and eh, by the inside okay calculate the extra height okay meaning that we want to find delta y gained by the disc okay, so for this case we can use conservations of momentum okay before and after the collision so before the collision m1 u1 plus m2 u2 equals to m1 plus m2 and moving with the same velocity okay Okay, for the this, when it at this position, when it at this position, your Vy is equal to 0 because it's at highest point. So, V at here is actually equal to 0. Okay, so our this initially is equal to 0. And bullet, when it meet the this, the bullet is moving with 250. Okay, so for the bullet, the mass of the bullet is equal to 0 0.02. And at that moment, it's moving with 250. Okay, before they meet together. Okay, after they meet together, the disc and the bullet is 
move together with the same velocity. So M1 is the disc 0.4, M2 is the bullet 0.02, moving with the same velocity. Okay, so V, after they meet together, V final is equal to 11.9 meter per second. Okay, so this is after they meet. Okay, so we want to find the extra y. So what are the informations we have here? Okay, so we want to find from point A until point B. Okay, what are the changes of the height? Okay, at point A, after the embedded, U is equal to 11.9 meter per second. Okay, so this is when it's at point A. Okay, so we're at point B, meaning that the final velocity at, at point B, V will equal to zero because already at maximum height. Okay, and we also have G equals to 9.81. Okay, so we want to find SY or delta Y. Okay, what is the the extra height gained by the disc? Okay, so we can use uh, V square equals to U square minus 2GS to find S, uh, to find the delta Y. Okay, so when you reach point B, U is equal to 0. Initial velocity is when after they meet at point A, at that time U is equal to 11.9 square. Minus 2, 3 is 9.81. S is the value that we want to find. Okay, so finally, S is equal to 7.22 meter. Okay, so the answer is A. Okay, so that's all for chapter 3. Okay, thank you. Please watch the next video for VIP questions chapter 4. See you. Bye.